In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, welcome to St. James Episcopal Church in Pee Wee Valley, Kentucky. I'm Elizabeth, your rector, so thankful you're here to share this agape meal. I'm joined by Marsha Webb, who is our cantor and reader today. Thanks for being here, Marsha. Glad to be here. And it is the uh, last Sunday of Epiphany, which means that we are telling the story of the Transfiguration. Can you see my giant earrings? Hey, Polly. They say shine. But you don't get to be shiny like this cross unless you have experienced this cross, which is our crucifix from over the pulpit. Thanks, Joe John, our verger, uh, for doing that example. So I want to say welcome to everyone who's joining us to share in this feast where you bring your bread and wine or crackers and juice to your kitchen table and join in the feast of this altar where we trust that the Holy Spirit is making the offering you have in your home the same sacrament of our Lord's body and blood as it is here at this address of St. James. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who gives. Keep on giving if you can. Call me if you need help. Pray without ceasing and sing like you are Dolly Parton. The worship guide for this service can be found on the same exact uh, link just right above. And our voluntary is by Cesar Frank. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our own cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let's sing, let's sing hymn 359, verses 1, 2, and 5.
Marsh is going to read the story from 2 Kings about how thin the membrane between heaven and earth really is in the story of Elijah and the chariot. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. The company of prophets who were in Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he said, Yes, I know. Keep silent. Elijah said to him, Elisha, stay here, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. But he said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. The company of prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he answered, Yes, I know. Be silent. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. Fifty men of some of of the company of prophets also went and stood at some distance from them as they both were standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle and rolled it up and struck the water. The water was parted to the one side and to the other until the two of them crossed on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, tell me what I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha said, Please, let me inherit a double share of your spirit. He responded, You have asked a hard thing, yet if you see me as I am being taken from you, it will be granted you. If not, it will not. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them, and Elijah ascended in a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha kept watching and crying out, Father, Father! the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grasped his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Lord Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the whirlwind, how do we listen to Jesus? Because that's what God tells us to do. From that voice on the mountaintop, remember how Mark tells the story, Jesus? Takes who with him? His three closest friends, James, 
John and Peter. And what happens? They go up on the mountain and a cloud comes down. Oh, it came all the way down. Wait a minute. Stay up on the mountain, cloud. And who do James and John see with Jesus? Well, they see Moses and Elijah. Oh, well, we just heard that story that Marcia read about Elijah. He represents all the prophets. Those sacred writings, here, hold on to those sacred writings, Elijah, about how thin the membrane between heaven and earth really is. You can just ride a chariot right through it. And then Moses represents what? The law. Here you go, Moses. Hold on to that law. Oops, wait a minute. That law is kind of fragile, but Jesus is about to fulfill it. How? Well, he's going to become dazzling white. So white, whiter than any bleach you can bleach your laundry with. Oh my goodness, oops, come on now. We need to make sure John sees everything because... As the story goes, he's going to write some of this down. Uh, but what does Peter do? Peter's just thinking, what do you do when something super important happens? You build a shelter around it. Of course you do, because that's the way Elijah and Moses would have said this is the way to do things. And here's Jesus coming with a mission that is going to tear down every protection and make him completely vulnerable to the death on a cross where he sacrifices himself to fulfill the mission of God the Father, that everyone is now being given the gift of forgiveness. But shh, right now it's still a secret up on the mountain Jesus says, I don't want anybody to know until I've been raised from the dead because that's the punchline of this whole story. I'm being transfigured here on earth, but you are going to see something so much more glorious than the gory crucifixion and suffering that I experience on the cross. In fact, what I experience on the cross is going to be so wonderful that you're going to make crosses that look shiny and cold. portray the light of God's love to the whole world so that an instrument of horrible darkness and death is going to be like a piece of jewelry you wear around your neck to say, you know what? God transfigures me, a sinner, into a beloved child worthy of the love of God in Christ. Thanks be to God. Our thanks continue because we pin all our prayers on this cross. So thanks, Marcia, for reading our prayers of the people. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Terry, our bishop, Elizabeth, our rector, and Mary, our deacon. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Anglican Church of Canada. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for Holy Trinity Church Brandenburg. West Louisville now, and for racial healing. In the parish cycle of prayer, we pray for the choir and music ministry. That they, that they be faithful, faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. We pray for Joe, our president, and Andy, our governor. We pray for those on active duty, Brad, Brianna, David, Evan, Matt, Rick, Tyler, and William. 
But there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake as we rejoice in God's blessing of life. We pray for those celebrating anniversaries and birthdays this week. That our works may find favor in your sight. We pray for those suffering from COVID-19, for all health care workers, first responders, scientists, and government officials. We pray for those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially for those on our parish prayer list, and for those who have received our healing blankets. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let life perpetual shine upon us. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own blessings, needs, and those of others. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this world with the love of God the Father, that we may be united in all the mysterious uh, ways that you bring us together from high up on the mountain and from deep in the valley, from times when we can sing together and times where we can't feel like we can utter a single prayer, that your Holy Spirit continues to do the work of transfiguring our hearts. Christ is the world's true light, and so we offer up all the prayers of our hearts, knowing that everything we offer to you, O oh God, you have already given to us. to share in this feast of Christ's body and blood and to be included in the story of shining a story that begins how on the night before he died for us our Lord Jesus Christ took bread 
And when he had given thanks to you, Father, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Then after supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, this is my blood, of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for the whole world for the forgiveness of sins. So whenever you drink it, drink it in remembrance of me. That is why we proclaim a mystery of faith, Christ has died, and Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. And we celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Blessed James, and all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask, through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Today is the day we have to shine upon the hearts of those with whom we make this journey. So avail yourself of grace, make haste to love and be swift to serve. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Let's sing hymn 137 verses 1, 2, and 4 before our voluntary.
the Spirit. Thanks be to God. Keep shining, St. James. <laughs>